Hello and welcome to Middle Age Geek Girl. I'm Sally. So today's video is probably my greatest bag of shame in the sense that the two kits I have purchased in here I purchased all the way back in May 2021. So we are talking about almost 12 months ago. Now there was a purpose for me buying these two kits and also a purpose for me taking so long in opening them and it was simply because these these two canvases are the same picture one square one round because I wanted to do the comparison of is square better than round comparison that you see now I know there are a few of these type of videos on YouTube already but not by me I haven't done one and I wanted to do one so it has taken me this long to get around to actually looking at these canvases now I bought them from home fun off Aliexpress so they will be double-sided adhesive but considering they have just been sitting in the bag for all that time I'm assuming they will still be okay uh, they gave me both canvases wrapped up on the one uh, foam roller. And I hope there's nothing untoward in this bag either because it's been sitting there opened for 12 months. So let's have a look. Now the image I went with is this cute koala. So I got it in the same size, but one square, one round. So they're both 30 by 30. And as I said, one will be square and one will be round. So you get, they came with two tool kits, which are slightly better than average because they've got uh, a bigger chunk of wax and a bigger tray and some Ziploc bags plus tweezers. And the canvases came wrapped together with these really ugh, difficult to get off rubber bands I might just cut them there we go that's one and when I mean, being double-sided adhesive and not having been moved around at all out of this bag and off this thing they sh should still be okay but for the reason I bought them. If they're not, I'm not too devastated as well. So that's a nice chunky foam roller I can use for something else. And being that they are smaller, hope I should be able to flatten them out quite easily just by lifting off this cover. So, Let's have a look. It's got, it wants to keep rolling in on itself. Obviously, it has been like this for a long time. And whatever you do with um, double-sided adhesive, fight the urge to roll it in on itself to hold it down, whatever you do. Uh, I need something heavy, so I'm just going to drag in my battery pack that I'm powering the other light with to hold that end down. And we'll fold this back about there, I think we'll do it. So by the looks of things, this has to be the square one. So on the square one, it doesn't say how many colours, so I'll have to manually count that. But you do get your DMC codes, so 35 colours. Which if I look at the bag, because it does come with an inventory list, yes, 35 colours. So that's the one good thing about this one. It does come with the inventory list, which I love, which you just don't get with diamond paintings from most companies. So I can tick these off later to make sure all the trills are there, compared to only 29 colours in the round one. So that's the first difference that we can see there, which is quite interesting. So I guess I'd have to go through both inventory sheets to see what colours are missing. But we'll concentrate just on this canvas for now. So it is printed really clearly and it's not a super big one. It's 30 by 30 so it should be fairly quick to knock up. This will be my uh, May project which will make it a nice 12 month loop from when I bought them to actually 
do them <laughs> so because I'll get them both done and then do a second video that talks about the differences they are nice and sticky and really for as I said sitting on my filming area floor for 12 months they're looking really good there's absolutely no damage to this that I can see so really happy with that I'll put this down and we'll just fold this side up as well so that it lays completely flat and that's the other beauty with this I mean I don't I generally don't buy double-sided adhesive anymore but there are some advantages to it if you treat it right I mean it's so easy to flatten out that this is flattened out now after 12 months of being rolled up so I could start on this now if I wanted to which is not something you get with poured glue you do have to flatten them out but let's have a look at the drills for the square one so yeah they do come individually um, package as per color so they will need kitting up but then again being only a 30 by 30 I generally don't kit these up even when it's like this uh, because you can look for all your colors at once that's what I tend to do um, but I'll see because I'm doing the comparison I may end up having to kit this up so as we said there are the 35 colors and details of how many packaging you get so I will most likely off camera do the audit to make sure they're all there but we can have a quick look at the colors here so there's a fair chunk of 5200 I'm just looking at the quality of the drills hard to tell until you take them out of the packaging obviously but they look pretty good they look nice and bright so they're not dirty can't see any damage or dints or dags or anything but again you never know until you completely take them out of the packaging it's a bit hard to tell at this stage that's the 310 so there's only a tiny amount of 310 in this one but yeah some really pretty colors I think a lot of pink So yeah, a lot of pinks and burgundies. And I think that's going to be really pretty. So let me just put you on hold and I will quickly audit these, put this away and we'll bring out the round one for a quick comparison. A few moments later. Okay, so I audited the square drills and they're all present and accounted for. So let's have a look at the round canvas now there are six less colors in this one and let's have a look so here it is I'll bring you in again it has all the DMC codes which is very handy uh, this one has your training circles or dummy circles around each item to show it's round. Um, I find them a little bit yucky only because if you don't place the drill perfectly on top of it, you can see the black outline through. I'll put up here a side-by-side -side comparison of both canvases so you can see any differences between the two. I definitely think so far the square one does look more detailed but again it's printed well apart from the training circles it's sticky and it's not damaged either from sitting on the floor for 12 months for double-sided adhesive it is actually come through really quite clean I think on the smaller ones smaller canvases you've got a better chance of double-sided adhesive coming through undamaged it's when you get big canvases that it becomes a problem so I'll cover this one up and we'll have a look at the drills that we get for the round one and I'll be curious to see if the colors change a lot I mean I know there'll be six less but how much they change between both sets so you, you get your basic colors I think are the same so your background is all white so you get the same quantity there 
start looking through yeah there's pinks so it's keeping to very similar colors but yeah you can definitely tell there's a lot less <laughs> there so again i'll just uh quickly do the audit offline and then we'll come back and have a look at the sheets and see just how different they are a little longer than a few minutes later okay so i just did uh, a quick comparison between the square and the round uh, this is the round this is the square so as you can see not only does this have six more colors but they do have quite i've highlighted um, the numbers on each that don't correspond uh, with the other kit so there is quite a number of different color choices they use even when they've gone with less colors so it'll be quite interesting to see how it turns out when it's finished uh like how this will impact shading uh, and things like that so yeah quite a number of color differences it'll be very interesting to do as mentioned i will be completing these kits in may and i will do a second video of the completion and the comparison so we can see just how detailed or different the square versus round is on the same image and the same size. So it'll be really interesting and I'm looking forward to the results. So that will do it for this video. Thank you everybody for watching. If this is your first time stumbling across my channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so that you're up to date with when I've uploaded my latest video. Please everybody leave a comment down below. I love to hear from you and I always respond. I'm particularly interested in what your thoughts are with this experiment. As I said, I am aware a number of other people have done them on YouTube, but I haven't and I haven't seen it done with this image. So I'm actually really looking forward to it and I'd love to hear your thoughts as well. If you are interested in supporting my channel further, I have a Ko-fi and a Patreon account set up and the details are here. And they're also in the description box below. Everybody, no matter where you are, please stay safe, stay weird. And I'm really looking forward to the quality of these kits. Okay, I'll stop now. <laughs> Bye.